Okay, okay. Here we have them talking about good macro again, and the stalkers here. I think getting ready to move out. Blink. Do it, blink. Blink. Oh, he doesn't like to listen to me. So all those links are just making like a puddle down there. We got a second hatch in the base, an evo chamber making armor. Uh, Roach wearing... He has Roach speed. And he's starting to make drones at the, that uh, expansion. But now we have the stalkers moving out behind here. Um, the lings aren't there to intercept. The zealots, however, decide to go take the short route. Probably to distract him from the massive stalkers. I really think destroying those overlords uh, is a double-edged sword because it alerts him to the stalkers up there on the ramp. It allows him to get a surround with his lings, and then he blinks away. But even if he did supply block him, it still uh, doesn't. It still doesn't account for the units he lost from this. Really, uh, the failed attack and the time wasted. Uh, so. Yeah, I don't think attacking those overlords was a good idea, because now the Zerg's already unsupply locked, and yeah. Let's see how well these things will do. A lot of stalkers going down everywhere. The Zerg definitely has the upper hand in this. Let's see. So, 29 roaches, 12 lings, versus 6 stalkers and 9, or 8 stalkers and 5 zealots. So the Zerg will definitely win this engagement. All the lings died, though. Surprising. Just gonna kill a probe there. Hey, that guy, hi guys, watch this. Kill the probe. One-shotting these stalkers. Oh, we got more reinforcements here for both players. Cannon's gonna go down for, uh, Boyo. Uh, doesn't look like that's gonna happen, though. Could this be the end of the game for Boyo? I don't know. This expansion's turtled ve pretty well. I mean, it's gonna take a lot to get through here. Especially since he's got cannons behind buildings. So, I'm not sure... If this is the end, well, the end for this expansion at least. That expansion is going to go down in no time, no time flat. But this expansion still doesn't have any drones. It's simply for getting um, units. Uh, we have roaches versus stalker and dr probe. Sorry, he's the Protoss, not Zerg. So that attempt to expand is going to be foiled. Uh, stalkers have the high ground advantage, so the green wise is going to back out there and go from a different angle, perhaps. He's got roaches and lings here. He's got his rally point for that hatchery set all the way down here, so it definitely looks like he's going to keep the pressure on. No, nope, wait, no, he's not going to keep the pressure on. He's going to back out to his base and just chill in that corner. Nope, not going to chill in that corner. All right. Breaking down those rocks to get his own high yield expansion, because uh, he knows his opponent won't be able to do much. So that is pretty good creep spreading. Look at that. That just looks insane. Ooh. Oh, it's an overseer. I thought that was a broodlord for a second. I was like, oh my god. Broodlords look different, though. Almost Both players... Protoss mined out in his main. Um, the Zerg almost mined out in his main. Finally getting some drones there. Uh, and halfway mined out about, about here. And just building a hatchery. Oh, wow, I'm sorry, I'm pathetic. Let me go back. Okay, so we got those roaches here, and then they're killing those rocks. I'm sorry this is such a pathetic uh, excuse for me trying to cast something, but uh, I'm having fun, and I'll, I'll get better over time. Just bear with me for now, I guess. Stalkers moving up to the Zelnaga Watchtower here. Creep tumors, however, giving vision, vision of the stalkers, so it's like... The Zerg has every Zelnaga Tower, pretty much, on the right side, middle side of the map. Middle side, there's no middle side, it's just the middle. Silly me. Oh yeah, if I didn't mention the map by now, it's Zelnaga Caverns. A bit late for me doing that. The Protoss, uh, putting his stalkers at a choke point and blinking back weakened stalkers, uh, but he blinked back too far and allowed the Zergans to get somewhat of a surround on him. And the Protoss is going to lose... That engagement there, he's splitting up his forces to take care of at least one gateway, one warp gate, and kill those three stalkers who misblinked into the cliff like retards. So if that offends anyone, but I really don't care. Sentries now, probably for force fielding. I don't. These sentries are going to be very short-lived, though. Nice force fields from Boyo. Uh, however, one roach able to make it through. 
Um, nice force field. It's going to keep them at bay for a little bit, but uh, not going to help much. He's one-shotting these um, stalkers, and it looks like it's all over for Boyo. So many roaches indeed. No, a Void Ray. If he had gone Void Rays, I think he would have uh, been fine. Force fielding them inside his mineral line. Because uh, sentries are not the most robust unit, so I find that to be a little bit odd. But it's all over. Um, a good game for both players. A little bit of cheese, but it wasn't too bad. Um, just trying to desperately kill off the roaches with... Uh, with the probes, but not gonna happen. Too many roaches, too much power, nothing in his main base to defend, just th four, six probes. And these roaches just chilling here like, yeah, we killed that. Uh, and it's all over for Boyo. Uh, good game on both their parts, though. And, yeah. So, uh... Excellent macro from both players. Uh, the Protoss fast, ex both players fast expanding, to and the Protoss securing this high yield expansion for quite some time actually, which uh, was pretty nice until he got it taken away. And the Zerg, I guess he just the Protoss couldn't keep up with keep keep up with um, four bases and one high yield, or four bases including one high yield. So. This looks to be it for Boyo. Just three buildings left. No more probes anywhere. Ah, uh, so good game to both of them. Mind if I upload this? This was a pretty damn epic game. It, it, it indeed was uh, an epic game. and I like how they can admit they both made mistakes. No longer has any forces. The game is over. Uh, let me know if you guys like the cast. I would love to do more if you want me to cast replays that you can send in. I will certainly do that. It'd be fun. Um, thanks, and I will see you guys next time on my next cast or my next video.